This is I'm Stark, and in this video we will be looking at the rise of Thomas Wolsey. And Thomas Wolsey was one of the most important figures in the early reign of Henry VIII from around 1514 to 1529. Now Wolsey was born in around 1472 as the son of a butcher in Ipswich, so this meant that he was a lowborn. Nevertheless, he was seen as outstandingly academic, and by the age of 15 he had received a degree at Oxford. Now, while he studied at Oxford, he was also the bursar of his college, which meant that he administered the financial aspects, and this helped him develop his administration skills, which he would use later on in Henry VIII's court. Now, in the late years of Henry VII, he served as secretary to Richard Fox, where he was able to receive patronage, and this is where his rise started, as he was therefore able to be noticed by Henry VIII. And this was particularly good, as when Henry VIII came to the throne, it did offer the perfect opportunity for ambitious men to become noticed, as Henry VIII based his court around skills rather than hereditary right. So therefore, he used the support of Richard Fox to become the Royal Almoner, and the Royal Almoner's job was to distribute the leftover food to the poor on behalf of the king. Now when Henry VIII had grown increasingly frustrated of his vigilant ministers who he had inherited from his father, he looked towards Wolsey who had already shown his excellent organisation skills and ability to guess what the king was thinking which was extremely important. Now Henry VIII had become frustrated with his vigilant ministers because of their lack of desire to let Henry go to war or do anything he wanted. So therefore Wolsey was used to organise the forthcoming expedition to France in 1512. Wolsey was also used in the negotiations. Now this meant that by 1514, all major business was being referred to Wolsey. So Wolsey was richly rewarded for all his efforts. Um, in 1513, he became the Dean of York and the Bishop of Tournai, and Tournai was one of the places that was conquered in the French campaign that year. In 1514, he was made Bishop of Lincoln and the Archbishop of York, which was the second highest post in the English Church after the Archbishop of Canterbury. Then in 1515, Pope Leo X made uh, Wolsey a Cardinal, and a Cardinal was a high-ranking position in the Catholic Church. So when William Warren resigned, uh, Wolsey also became the Lord Chancellor in the government of Henry VIII. But one of the most important steps was when he was appointed Papal Legate in 1518. Now this position now meant that Wolsey now outranked the Archbishop of Canterbury and he had control over the religious orders in England. He could also deputise for the Pope. So this meant that his incredible growth also led to many enemies who believed that they were superior to Wolsey based on hereditary right. And when we look at the fall of Wolsey, this will play a major aspect. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.